off the hook. Oh, um, hello? Hi, it's me, Don. I was hoping you'd be there. Oh, hey, Don. What's up? You won't believe this. My mom came across an, ar uh, an unpacked carton labeled sports equipment, and guess what was inside? What? A photo album with a prom picture. <laughs> what was it then? Was it then? Yes. My mom did have a rose pinned to her, a rose corsage pinned to her dress. With and a uh, with a white ribbon, uh, and a with a white ribbon in, in the sash, and and so I asked her who that guy was, and, and I first got all dreamy, but oh, that's what you say. I wonder what happened to him. And I told, and she's like, she's like, what do you want to say? And I'm like, nothing. It's just he's Marianne's father, and she nearly fainted. Wow. I won. I wonder. Oh, Don, Dad's come. Dad's home. I'll call you. I'll call you back after dinner, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. I waited for just the right moment to ask him. Um, Dad. Why, it's Marianne. Did you ever know a woman named Sharon Porter? <coughs> <coughs> what? Did you ever know a woman named Sharon Porter? <coughs> yes. Uh, what did you ask? Um, well. I found out that Don's mother Sharon, was Sharon Porter before she got married, and um, and that she grew up here. And and Don and I thought it would be funny if you two knew each other. Um, did you? Yes, we were very good friends, but we didn't keep in but we didn't keep in touch. Her parents and I didn't get along very well. Sharon and I dated until we both went off to college, and then, well, she moved to California, and I lost track of her. So. Sharon got married. And divorced. She brought Don and her brother back here last month so they could start all over again. How come you and Sharon's parents, I mean, and the Porters didn't get along? Oh, well, um, let's just say that they didn't think I was good enough for their daughter. My family and I didn't have much money growing up. I wonder if you'd be good enough for Don's mother now. Don't get any ideas, Marianne. Don, I got the story of, or part of it anyway. A dad went all dream, sort of dreamy too. Hmm. Well, we'll have to. Well, we'll have to do something about it. Yeah. Well, it's been some day. I made up with Christy. In fact, the whole club has made up. Oh, you have. Yep. That's great. You know, Don, you were really great on with Jenny last Saturday. Um, did you do much babysitting in California? Yeah, tons. I have to go. I have to go. I'll see you at school tomorrow, okay? I'll tell you my idea. Okay, um, bye. Bye. Hey, Christy, you there? Yeah, what's up? I got an idea I want to discuss with you. Ah, there, everything's ready. Dad was letting me throw a special party for the babysitter's club. I could hardly believe he'd said yes. The pizza's in the oven. We need sep a separate meal, especially for Stacy. It was special because I had invited a special guest, Don, to meet the rest of the BSC members. Ding dong! Oh, they're here! Oh my gosh! It's not even five yet! I'll have to- Wow! Oh no, I got soda all over my skirt! Relax, Marianne. I'll clean- I'll clean this up. You get the door. Okay, um... What a way to start a party. Dan, how about you clean, how about, um, before, before you get that, how about you clean up and I'll go get the door. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, God. Wait a minute. How come nobody's talking in the hall? Hello, I'm here. Hey, Don. Oh, they're mesmerized with each other. I know. Dad, this is Mrs. Schaefer, Don's mother. Mrs. Schaefer, this is my dad, Mr. Spire. Do you know each other? Yes, yes, of course. We do. Sharon, it's wonderful to see you again. You too, Richie. Won't you come in? Oh, I'd love to, but I have to pick up Don's brother at hockey practice. Well, um, would you like to have dinner sometime? I'd love to. When? How about tomorrow night? I'd love that. Good day! I can hardly believe it! Me either! Okay.
that's the rest of the club. Ready? Yep.